what? I've got the wrong type of ramp. This is 533. This is 667 megahertz of DDR2 RAM. Yay, so I've just bought a bunch of RAM that I can't use. This is even the first time this has happened recently. I did the same with my Mac Pro. Uh, by the way, I haven't got working, which is why there's no video about it. Actually, there is a video that I think I've released. So, yeah. The RAM I've bought today, useless. For now, maybe I will eventually get a system with 667 DDRT. But, for now... This has all been useless. A dumb idea. That's the conclusion. But hey, at least I've got some DDR3 so 4 gig sodiums, which is 1600 megahertz, therefore it should work in basically anything. I've got that DDR3, apart from my 2008 laptop, I believe. I believe that won't work. So, yeah. I'm putting in the right one because of the sticker. And yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today, this failure and goodbye. Same problem again, and I've taken the 2 gig stick out, so, um, trouble. What if I only tried the two 1 gig sticks, and then the 2 gig stick? I don't know. The question is, how much RAM does this have? Take your guess now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to reconfigure this. Whoa. See what it says, it probably will say, oh, I need two one gig sticks or something. Yeah, it says I need two one gig sticks. Uh, also, I've just realised it says 4200U. I think the RAM I got was 5300U. Well, no, what does that mean? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 6, 6, 7, although the fact that it says 444 might actually be the number. What? I forgot to plug in the SSD, I was distracted by the CPU cover. So, uh, yeah, you well done me. So, and now it should be into Mac OS. I also actually need to get a keyboard and mouse. So, I haven't plugged one in. I've only plugged the power and display to DVI. Well, it's actually a DVI to VGA cable with the DVI end plugged in here. But yeah. So it turned on without beeping at me and it gave me a display. However, it gave me a problem of no boot drive. And why is there no boot drive? Well, it's quite simple. Um, the drive, the data cable's not actually plugged in. It's fell out, so that's why. Also, I need to try and get the CPU cover actually back in where it belongs. Oh, because it's, it was hard in keeping this out, keep stopping it from going in properly. Might have to remove the fans. Um, but yeah, see you in a sec, I guess. So, what I've got is um, for the configuration, so. The two that are inwards, um, in each um, top and bottom, those are the one gig sticks, and then the two gig stick is located on the top. It's the one right above the orange LED light on the left. I, I doubt the two gig stick will actually work in this configuration, but from my research, the config is correct. So, yeah.
in a sec. should also mention, actually, yeah, I've bought more RAM. I bought these from CX, so this is the two gig stick. There's only one of these. Um, and then the other two here are one gig sticks. So I probably can't actually use the two gig stick right now. But hopefully I'll be able to um, find some soon. I'm pretty sure this is the right... Um, I'm not actually certain this is actually the correct Palmac G5, the quad. Should be, but I, I, I'm not certain. Um, what's in there? I can't even... Oh, apart from this is a stick of RAM. Because um, I probably kept the... If this is... 2 gig. Wait a second. Have I got 4 gigs in here? And not 2? Or am I just misremembering? If so, that means it's more RAM than I... Remembered. I've been six gigs. Hang on. Welcome to another episode of the um, Power Mac G5 Adventures. Um, in this episode, I will be um, taking this. Well. Putting RAM upgrades in this. This is the quad. Um, so first off, let's get it open and get to work. 